Hello guys, this is Adrian from CH. Uh, today I'm gonna make a little quick video on the ASP400 rail that will pretty much hold true for like Sado 325 OS uh, series 5 cylinders, okay? So here is the CDI that comes with the kit, okay? It's the new style uh, box that I just made. Um, as you can see the wire numbers are uh, put on the box and they are for they are falling naturally on the engine so number one number one is gonna be number one on the engine let's see okay so it's gonna be here oh, hard to see and do that so it's gonna be one two three four five so let's see if we get the box here behind okay so you see that's the way it's gonna go so one in the middle two three and then four and five okay so it's gonna fall naturally on the engine ah oh i saved it because here is the wire didn't get into the jb weld okay so here is the two-part jb weld done okay so now the next thing in the kit is gonna be the five spark plugs. Uh, we have also the sensor ring with a dual output and the magnet ring that goes on the prop drive. Let me see if I can take it out easily. So it has the, let me see this autofocus off, okay. So it has the green, that's number one, and this is the red, uh, that's gonna be the reset, okay. so. Here is the ring, it has the two set screws, so that goes on the prop drive. Now, on the engine itself, okay, I'm not going to make the bolt-on bolt, uh, bolt -on stuff, I don't like it. It gets too big and kind of defeats the, the scale looking part of it. Um, Bill Carpenter before, for the last 30 years, has been using JB Weld in this type of application and never had an issue. So. With that said, you see on the engine, right here, also on the OS and uh, on the Sado 3 to 5, yeah, that one gets the same treatment. Um, you rough it up a little bit, so the JB weld, it's going to get around it and it's going to stick better to a roughed up surface than a smooth one. Now, the ring itself, it has a little lip there, if you can see, that is gonna snap here on, on the outside. Now, all depends on how tight the tolerances on the engine is made. So I see them, then they go, you have to press it and some of them they slip on. So this one, you have to press it up a little bit. On some, of the, some other engines, you'll have to actually kind of force it off. On it but that's fine that's where it has to go so and on the ring this is what I've done okay I roughed it up pretty good and as you can see I made some indentations in it so there it's where the JB weld is gonna go and stay more okay so this is the way it looks now I'm gonna pause it a little bit so I can apply the JB weld and I'm gonna Continue, okay? So just bear for a second. Okay, so we are back. Stem all the focus out of the way. Okay, so as you can see, I put some uh, JB Weld on it. You don't have to put a whole lot because that's going to get squished out. Uh, one thing though, make sure that... Uh, let me see if I can point it here. Right, right here that has to be clean okay because the prop drive is gonna need to go there all right so now on the ring okay like i said you don't have to put a ton because all that is gonna get squished off when you put it on all right sorry uh, okay when you put it on cylinder number one it's on top it's up to you how you put it but this is the way i would like to do it okay so all right it looks like it gets in there i will fix it 
in a second I will put it so this wire okay the sensor wire it will go nice and down here underneath of the engine okay so that's the way I'll do it now let me pause just for a second so I can press the ring down with two hands and we'll be back okay so the ring I press the ring down as you can see it squished it squished out quite a bit so that's why I said don't put too much yet now on this side I dressed it up a little bit okay so I used a little bit paper towel and uh, clean it up so I just did it quick it's not all the way clean and nice so I'll continue to do that so let me do that and then I will come back okay so now we're back I cleaned it up all around it a better job can be done but I don't want to wait way too long okay yeah I have a couple of shadows right here and right here uh, a little bit of a how you call emery cloth will take care of that if you really really want to but like you see okay so then you let it to set for probably up to the next day I would say just to make sure that everything it's it's settled now on this engine I'm gonna turn it around this is gonna be a gas version that I just come up with that idea now and to see how I'm gonna do it um, I don't know if it's gonna work either so I just spend the time to adapt the carburetor back there Let's see how I can show it a little bit better. Yeah, there it's the. Oh, come on. There is a throttle lever, okay. And here is the carburetor on the back, okay. So I try to make it in such such a way that it will be all hidden behind the engine to be in the engine mount okay so let's put it this way a little bit all right I definitely need more light okay so here is the throttle level that's the way it's gonna go so like I said I'm not sure if it's gonna work so I'm gonna take a video anyway one way or another to see if I will show you if I succeed or fail miserably like I said you know I like to show the things the way they are okay now it looks like I have a better lighting okay so that's the way the gas version is gonna work it's gonna look uh, now carburetor I'm not so sure that what you see is gonna what you're gonna get this I just mounted there thinking that it might work and again I have to test and check and see if it's gonna work so coming back to the glow version of it okay or the ignition system to be mounted on so you get the ring there you let it to sit for 24 hours and then you have your prop drive that is gonna go in yeah I didn't lock the ring yet let me try to press it on and hopefully it's gonna stay there okay so now this green one is gonna be the number one so you want to be 30 degrees before top that center when the sensor and the magnet first come in touch okay so when the green light on the checker is going to come on first come on the first green after the red light that on all five seven nine those are this is the way that it's going to need to be timed so that's going to be number one the first light after the green and that must be 30 degrees before top that center when magnet and sensor first come in touch okay so I'm stressing this a little bit more because 
I still have a lot of people asking about that even though I try to put it in the instructions more so that's why I'm going so so much over that and saying it a couple of times okay so now okay so that's the gap that is gonna be between the magnet ring and the sensor ring so that's about it um, hopefully this will will help you guys to install the to see the install on the ASP 400 OS series and uh, one second I'll be back okay just coming quick <laughs> back I just remember that I had this OS 7 cylinder that I just made a kit for it so this is the OS series 7 it gets in the same way okay that's the way it looks after it's all said and done the set screw that you see there now that's not gonna work the limb the lip it's not enough I designed the part before I had the engine and I thought that it would work so yeah I will have to clean up a little bit more because you see it has a couple of things but that's fine I'll clean it up so that's the way the OS engines will look like if, if it's a seven cylinder or if it's a five cylinder or a Sado five cylinder three to five they are all getting done in the same way okay uh, since I'm here let's just pause this just a second I want to show you guys something else it looks like doesn't want to pause or I'm hit. all right so uh, we are back well you know what I'm gonna make this video for all the I was half tempted to make it just for the ASP that's since I was running my mouth about the other engine then uh, this video is gonna be for all of them okay so it's gonna be called ASP OS Sado uh, so you see like I said one more time OS 7 cylinder is gonna be the same as the 5 cylinder same setup it's just the number of magnets into the ring okay on this one it's on it's seven I have not put the, the magnets in yet so it's the same thing but it's just five magnets now for the OS 7 cylinder series I'm gonna attempt to do a gas conversion okay so then again I made this part right here It was really fun to design and make this engine it has in the back a uh, rotating impeller okay so I'm gonna run it first on glow and get everything running nice and see what it can do and after that I'm gonna put the gas section gas conversion on it and uh, go from there and see what how that's gonna run if it's gonna run all right and the same thing it's the Sado FA325 okay I have a, a fresh setup for it this is the very first one that ouch the test one that I've done so this engine is gonna get a total a total overhaul bearings rings and all that stuff so I have to tear everything down but as you see the ring the magnet ring it gets glued to the crankcase so this has been here for i say two years now and it's right there no movement no nothing so that's why i know that they will will so on the sado okay uh, for those guys that they have the sado you see those uh, like not like imitation it has it also here in the front so for this ring in order to install it you'll have to you know uh, take them off and uh, then put those uh, rings on it I can can I come with uh, uh, the same thing you know on the OS or ASP can I make the bracket from here to those bolts and come like I did on the 777 and 735 yeah but 
honestly I do not like it. It just doesn't look scale. It looks like a thumb of sword in the, in the middle of the stuff. Anyway, um, so that's what I prefer to do it. If you, if somebody wants to me to do that stuff for a special job or something, yes, I will do it. But uh, no, this is the way it's going to be available for everybody. So like I said, Sado 3 to 5. Same setup, same what you see me doing on the ASP 400. It's exactly same thing for Sado 3 to 5. OS Series 7 or OS Series 5 ASP 400 okay so wow it's 15 minutes already since I'm running my mouth here so enough with the blah blah guys so those are my my engines and luckily my, my, my wife is not home so she cannot beat me up because I'm using her countertop for, from the kitchen. Okay, so anyway, even if she will be home, it wouldn't be a, a big, big issue because she is really supportive. And like I said, she's like I said in other videos, she's helping me tremendously a lot. She's the one that solders everything with me, a full full time job and doing this. I, I would not definitely not have time to do all this stuff so all right guys thank you for watching and hopefully this one it will make it easier and know how to install this i had several people that you know asking for instructions and all this it's not that hard but right now i just made a video of it all right thank you guys and come back for more